So I just wanted to say once again, you can find me on, you know, all the major music platforms and all over social media and stuff. And thank you so much, Eric, for having me. It's so cool to get to, you know, share a night with people who are very far away. So this is awesome. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. I put all your information there in the chat. So feel free to go awesome. follow her, support her. You guys heard her. Her album was so good. It shut the world down. It was like, you know what? <laughs> this is too good. Shut it down. Great. <laughs> I, there's the noise. I knew the noise was going to show up at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you, I, hopefully you got your drinks. You've got your snack. This is my favorite one. You, you, oh. you want, you're, getting, you're drinking wine out of a coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these are pandemic <laughs> times. I get it. I'm with you. Get, put it in a mug. Who cares? Who's <laughs> at this point? You know. awesome. <laughs> I'm just glad you made it and 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 you, you're here. So whatever you need, I'm I'm drinking out of a I'm I'm drinking out of a, a disposable cup. My wife gets mad that I'm buying. I'm buying. I, I'm like, why do I have to keep doing dishes? We're not having people over. I bought the solo red cups 
and I've got paper plates. Just who cares? It's over. I've been wearing sweats every day. Today's the first time I wear pants because of you guys. <laughs> Let me introduce you guys to the comedians we have tonight. I'm very excited that they're here and they agreed to do this. Uh, first up, uh, she is amazing. She uh, She's the host of the What's Your Jersey podcast. She is a fitness instructor online, which bugs me because everyone else is gaining 15 pounds during quarantine. She's actually getting fitter. Uh, big round of applause for Jacqueline Marfuji, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, he, he needs no introduction. He's got to have our special on HBO Max right now called Adorable. You guys love him. You know him. Orlando Leyva. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you just walk around with this thing? Just... I walk around with it, man. You got to celebrate yourself. You have to celebrate yourself. I tell everybody, Cassie should have had one of these as soon as she finished singing. She should have, bah, bah, she should have hit him with it. <laughs> Fantastic songs. I enjoyed both of them. Thank you. Cheers to you. Also on the show, he uh, he directed, co-wrote, and starred in a short film called Zoo Animals that is streaming now on HBO Max. Uh, give it up for Francisco Ramos. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. thank you. Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, I, I got nervous that he wasn't going to play it. Yeah, yeah. like, hey, guys. <laughs> he only went like, man, he could just give me one. Come on. <laughs> just the one. Yeah. Also on the show, he is one of the creators of uh, Roast Battle. Uh, he was on CBS's Superior Donuts. Uh, he's a great friend of mine. I'm glad to have him here. Give it up for Rel Battle, everybody. <laughs> Uh, and, and now I do Zoom shows for free. So uh, I like reusing the stuff. You're killing it. You're killing it, bro. <laughs> I'm moving up, guys. <laughs> uh, well, thank you guys for being here. Uh, I pretty much labeled this like a happy hour. I want it just to be a hang. Uh, you know, sort of give everybody a sneak peek. Like, because I missed this. I missed uh, since the quarantine. I miss hanging out with comics and just talking and interacting with you guys. Like I, right right now, it's just me and my wife, and she's around all the time, all the and time. Me. You call me, you call I me. I call you because my wife's not funny. She's not funny. She's too serious. <laughs> like well, yeah, that's what you want. You don't want somebody to be the same, like just cracking jokes every day with you. That'll be just that'll get annoying. That's like the comic that's always on. It's like. Relax. Uh, right? She's trying to figure out where's the money going to come in from. She's, like she's, <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. He's like, she's not laughing about that. Eric, you have to be the shiny toy object. It's fine. You're the you're the star right now. It's okay. A am I? Is that what's happening? Uh, so I'm quarantining with my wife. I know Orlando. You're quarantining with wife. Yeah. Rel, who are you quarantining with? I got a I got a, a nine year old pug named PG. That's about it. I got a dog. <laughs> What what is that like? Because the the, the the married guys want to know. We we don't have we have. They're just they're always there and always. Well, it's, it's, Let me tell you something, Ralph. I used to love when my wife would go to work. I also have kids. I I used to love when they went to school. I have my own personal time, dude. I have not. I'm I'm not. I'm not. I'm not pooped since March because they're always <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it's very quiet. It's unsafe. If you want to go on a date, you got to risk your life. So I'm, I'd much rather be in your position right now, buddy. Wait, are you still are you still dating during this? I mean, you know, listen, I'm a, I'm Republican when I when I miss women. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, not not really. I have you know I have situations that were pre COVID, so I, I I like in my mind it's safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In your mind. Jacqueline, you're quarantining with your boyfriend slash fiance now. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's oh. right. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Guys, don't be jealous. Um, we've been dating for four years and um it's both of our first relationships. He's 42 and I'm 25 plus nine, so not bragging. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm quarantining with um, the future in-laws and him. Um, they locked me in the attic to do this show because um, I want to keep my ring. Um, <laughs> they're, they're, That's they're intense. Downstairs. You've been with the in-laws also? Yes. Wow. I, you know, I feel I'm, re I'm living that retired lifestyle. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. We take naps. We go to the <laughs> Christmas tree store to just get out. Right. Um, it's really special. We we pop stool softeners after dinner. A <laughs> <laughs> regular. Romantic guys, I know it's hot. It's so <laughs> hot. You didn't go out to dinner in a big event. Like, how did he propose? It was a romantic day. It started out at um, the convention center in Atlantic City, getting swabs up our nose. We got tested, you know, because that negative game. What? <laughs> Um, and then he, um, we went to urgent care cause he had kidney stones. So that, oh, wow. <laughs> that he, he was really testing. He was like, is this bitch <laughs> going to be there <laughs> for That's a life or death? Wow. What, no wonder you stole softeners. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I sat in the urgent care parking lot for about two hours, um, he was like, let's go on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I knew this trip, it was home, he insisted we came home to Jersey, I didn't want to come here, like, my own family won't even see me now, even though I've had two negative tests, they're like, you're, you're dirt, no, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> and so I knew I was either going to be engaged to the love of my life, or I was going to be the new Lorena Bobbitt and be on the news, um, mm -hmm if it didn't happen this week, um, <laughs> right? Like I was gonna have a ring on this hand or a knife in it, it's fine. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, he sold me on this. So we quarantined in a casino, which is um, where you go to stay safe from COVID. Um, <laughs> Wait, are, are we talking Atlantic City casino? Oh yeah, we quarantined at resorts. Um, Can I just say he's really testing this for better or worse? He's really testing yeah. the worst part, like kidney mm -hmm. stones, Atlantic City casino. Yeah. He's, really, he's really going for it. Yeah, it was like dodging the Walking Dead, just getting to our car in the parking garage. It was great. Um, What's the point of getting rid of COVID and catching syphilis in the, in the casino? <laughs> <laughs> they don't yeah. test each other out. <laughs> Trust me, try to know. No, I'm joking. You... <laughs> uh, yeah, so he really sold me. He he sells anything with wine for me. So he said there was a wine bar below this Ferris wheel on the boardwalk. I don't know about you guys. I mean, this whole pandemic, I've just been wine tasting on my couch. Um, and so, yeah, we went out to this Ferris wheel and no one was on the boardwalk except for like crazy, like homeless people. and all these like ferris wheel like all the rides were shut down and i was like oh you're gonna murder me you're not gonna propose to me like this is where i die um <laughs> i'm a huge fan of the sopranos so i just pictured that in my head um yeah, and yeah. then we get to the ferris wheel and there's like one person that just jumps out <laughs> and is like right this way <laughs> and i'm like oh yeah you're gonna kill me and then <laughs> we, we, we like, are you really into it or are they like he was just like stone cold Steve Austin. Like there was nothing. I couldn't read it. I yeah, he just talk. passed a couple of kidney stones. <laughs> of course. He He's like, can you hurry up? I just <laughs> went through the urgent care. Let's exactly. get this. <laughs> he was like, do you have a maxi pad? I'm bleeding. <laughs> um, and yeah, he did it. And he told me to pull out my phone. And the first thing that came up on my phone on Instagram was a picture of Adriana and Sylvia when he's driving her through the woods to murder her. And I was like, well, that's a sign. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, it was really cute. He got down on one knee. It was a whole thing. His sister was at the bottom. It was adorable. Now I have like a tree with like ring ornaments that they decorated for me. It's a whole freaking thing. Ooh. So yeah, that happened. I know. Being happy doesn't make you funny though. It's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have to change my whole act, guys. <laughs> I do. Are you all married? Are all the couples married here? 
No, see, no, I love it. Definitely not. <laughs> Damn. Uh oh. oh you sounded like uh, me. Uh, we could go. Uh, Rachel, Rachel looks like she wants to go to a uh, Ferris wheel. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, these are people that don't know what a great tax credit you get when you're married. <laughs> you different tax brackets. Sorry, I gotta humble brag. I gotta worry about my taxes. Oh, that, that was in Orlando's uh, wedding vows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get. I get a discount. I get a discount with this. I get a whole discount. All right. Orlando, you you've been quarantined with the wife. How's that been? Because you you're like me. You she would go to work. You'd have your 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 me time, and then yeah, I had like I had like ten hours of my day was just me living my best life. You know that like the alt life that I had going on. You know, just watching TV. Like all like I could watch. American pickers all day long. I don't have no one getting mad at me or as everybody knows me, a lot of HGTV. I'm all into hometown now. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's like, but now she like right away, her boss was so positive and supportive. I was like, yeah, work from home. And now mm -hmm. our dining room table is her desk. And I'm just there like, and I can't watch TV because now I'm judged. I see like, this is like, really, this is, like, I know you told me this is what you did most of the day, but you really, like, you really do this. <laughs> you really put the bowl of nachos on your belly and watch TV. And I was like, yes, this is, this is the process of what makes me funny. This is, <laughs> this is how the great ones, the great idea, the HGTV bit right here on this couch. You can't even hate this, man. <laughs> now, it's hmm. like, now there's no personal, like, like she's just always there. But like I became a like I became a great chef because I said, let me be supportive and whatnot. So now I cook really well. Like my breakfasts are very elaborate. I'm a breakfast guy, fluffy eggs, chives on top. You know, I grab the toast, I warm it up. I don't toast it, I just warm it. I sprinkle a little bit of olive oil, I place the eggs on top, saute mm -hmm. some cherry tomatoes, and I take that to her in bed. You know, and here you go. I, I'm a barista too. I know how to make the little heart on the on the coffee and like i i see it i see like all the people are like wow you really care about your wife and i hope you guys know i don't do this for her i do this for me i'm just trying to get my house back you get me and keep her <laughs> for as long as possible because i love my tv in my living room and now i'm just like now i gotta go out for walks that's ugh. Mm. who does that Oh yeah, Eric does that. Eric sends me texts every morning. Eric will send me a post every morning, seven miles in the snow. My reply to him is, why? You know, like <laughs> you're married. Like, what are you doing it for? If I was your wife, I would be a you'd be a suspect in my book. It's like, what are you working out for? What is this here for? See, the reason I go out for those seven mile runs, that's an hour I get outside of the house, Orlando. You think you see it as oh, I'm doing it for fitness. I'm doing it for peace of mind. That's how, sacrifice. Far, how far and how long can I be outside for without it being suspicious? I'm all for running. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I run seven miles, I'm not coming back for a week, a whole week. <laughs> That'll be my excuse. I'll be staying at the residence inn at the end of my neighborhood. You're the Forrest Gump of quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I live with my girlfriend right now. I actually realized a couple of things. I, uh, I, um, I did tell my girlfriend before the when the whole pandemic started. I told her like, look, I don't think it's healthy because I don't think it's healthy for our relationship to be together the whole time. And you know, now we're forced to. So I told her like, look, how about this? How about during the day we don't talk to each other, you know? <laughs> and at night, let's go to sleep. And it's working great. Uh, I don't have a relationship right now, but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> now she's i did learn it's funny i learned so many things too i learned that we lie to each other i don't know if you guys do this uh polina i don't know if you do this is that your husband oh, is that to me? yes paulina so, no pauline no, he's not my husband no then who's that guy <laughs> 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 do you know you have a guy next to you <laughs> is it me that, <laughs> <laughs> is your is your boyfriend or is your friend? No, 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 yeah, no. Like, what is it? No, yeah, no, yeah, no. So yeah, I don't know what, what, 
If you guys are trying to keep this uh, secret, uh, you don't know how to do it. Uh, yeah, Paulina's not into labels. She's not into labels. Gracias, amor. Gracias. Sí, él me conoce. Ah, okay. Yo también hablo español. Me puede. Sí. No, you can ask Eric or. This became a novela quick. They went into Spanish yeah. and everybody's just like, what's happening? Oh, I love it. That's a bold one. <laughs> no, I wanted to know. So, you, but you guys are together, you know, whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay. Yeah, Just we wanted are to. Together and we speak during the day and we speak at night too. So, we're oh. good. <laughs> yeah, I could, t I, I could tell he likes to speak a lot. The ocean. Yeah, we are like a couple sitting on the beach and looking at it and kind of measuring. <laughs> Contemplating if we're going to go in the water or not. Okay, Eric, it's time to mute them. Can I just say I don't like I don't first of all first of all I don't like how perfect they look together they look they oh, yeah it's like a case commercial I know, like a this is this is, how, this is how you know Francisco is not married because he looked at the whole you guys married they look too happy and they're glowing and their background looks like a like a catalog yeah no, it's like a lifetime so, movie they're not married. They, look, they look like they exfoliate together. <laughs> Look, Jacqueline just got engaged and she's in the attic by a white tree that they don't even put outside. Yeah. Melatina, obviously very spicy, and uh, he is from Croatia. He's from Dubrovnik. Any uh, uh, yeah. gave oh, us wow. from France? He's That's from, so um, what is it? King's Landing. King's Landing. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I that think, sounded. I don't think they know each other. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he has no I'm, nothing. I'm, I'm sorry, but you guys are filling out every checkbox. On, <laughs> are they a spy? Couple or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, uh, so I'm from Croatia. Next yeah. landing. Yeah. John Snow, my friend. John oh, Snow. Yeah. That's how you can tell we all right here went to public school because he named the city and we just all said, okay, we don't have, we have no idea. He could have, he could have been like, oh, I'm from Croatia. What part? Oh, I'm from uh, downtown. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> No, he could have told me he was from Winterfell. <laughs> I would have been like, yep. yep. Looks like okay. it. Sounds like it. <laughs> they were extras on Game of Thrones. That's how they met on set. There you go. <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't want to hijack this whole thing because it's about you guys. But some other no, you already did. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Francisco was trying to tell us about his girlfriend. And yeah, I was going to tell her about how I was going to, this whole romantic thing. And then you're like, hey, everybody, come. This is my house in the background. Look how cool it looks. Like, I'm even looking up where Croatia is right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Francisco, you um, picked the wrong couple. Like I said, they yeah. look good. Like exactly what Orlando said, Rebecca. They're sitting apart from each other, like they're too close together. Yeah, they're, they're married lighting, which is like that. Yeah, married so lighting. Yeah, yeah. 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 two kids. We're With exhausted. Model esque photo shoot lighting. You don't want That's that. Yeah. <laughs> no. You could tell. You could tell. You could tell the lighting. They got two kids. He just said they got two kids. Yeah, that's true. The yeah, separation. Right. By the posture, who's got kids when they're sitting like this? It's like, yeah. we are, we're exhausted. No, it's, <laughs> remember, <laughs> Eric, it's energy. like this, it's like this, and like this. <laughs> You're forming a V. I'm <laughs> half asleep right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you talked me into this. I don't even know what I'm doing. Here. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> this another meeting at work. <laughs> I don't remember this many brown people being at my job. <laughs> <laughs> the boss well, took this diversification seriously. This <laughs> no, that I learned that you have to lie to each other in order to keep the relationship happy. I don't know if you guys do that as a couple. Rebecca, I'm gonna go to Rebecca. Orlando <laughs> does it, right? Right? Yeah, like you gotta you lie. Do, you, gotta like you gotta lie, but you have. But the thing is, like, I realize we both know we're lying to each other. You know what I mean? Like, it's oh. like that's the key. You know, because like, <laughs> do like you yeah, yeah, you got you don't. Like, you should try it. I mean, I, I mean, I think it works. So there's no fights. You know, that's, that's the point. point. Because like my girlfriend, I was watching TV the other day, and my girlfriend came and she was like, "What are you thinking about?" And I'm like, "I'm watching basketball." <laughs> That's what I'm, but I'm not going to tell the truth. So I just go like you, babe, you. <laughs> and then she goes like right answer. And that's it. And there was peace in the universe. No <laughs> fights. If I tell the truth, it becomes a whole thing, you know? And she does the same thing to me when we're having sex. You know, she goes, you know, she goes like, oh, Francisco, you're so big. 
No, I'm not. <laughs> but I don't want her to be like, ah, oh, you're so average. No, keep lying. <laughs> I, I've run out of things to talk to my wife about because we're we're together all the time. Like before you had small talk. It was like, oh, how was your day? Now it's like, how was your day? I'm like, you you saw me all day. <laughs> right there. All day. What do you mean? How was it? You were watching me. What do you, and she tries to. She's like, oh, well, how was lunch? I made us lunch. You're ridiculous. <laughs> I, if we weren't in lockdown, I would leave right now. <laughs> I broke up with my girl the first day of quarantine. Like I couldn't. Oh shit! She had the hiccups. I'm like, I'm out of here. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not supposed to. I'm not taking no chances. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, New Year's is nothing to do. Um, it's too cold to protest. That's what. That's what we've all been doing. <laughs> so I, I guess. I guess we on break. Uh, <laughs> I'm catching up on all my shows. Uh, I just. What are you, what are you watching? I just finished Queen's Gambit. I watched that one. Uh, yeah, it's great. You know, um, whenever I want, whenever as an African American, I want to hear about oppression, women playing chess. That's kind of the stuff that gets my blood boiling. You know what I'm saying? So it was a good. That was a good show. Uh, if you guys have never seen this show. Have you guys ever seen um, the, what's the it's the British show, uh, The Crown? You guys? Yes. I tried. Yeah. I tried. It's just too. Yeah. It moved too slow for me. It's too slow for you? Yeah, I was watching season one, and I think uh, episode three or four is just about fog. And I was like, I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> you care it. Hey, that fog kills thousands of people. Aaron. Thousands of people. Churchill <laughs> almost lost his job over that fog. The other morning, I ran through fog. I was fine. I did six miles <laughs> in the fog. I <laughs> My mother was on Jimmy Kimmel, so she keeps sending me the episode uh, yeah. to watch. Yeah, hold on, for, for the people that are here, let me just tell you what, like, what a nice son Rel is, but what, I, I don't want to say a-hole, because you really put the pressure on everyone else to get their mother a great gift. Do you understand what you've done? Like, yeah. my mother saw the clip, because like, oh, look what my friend did. And she's like, oh, you can't do that for me? And I'm like, listen. <laughs> For those that don't know, Rel uh, got his mother on Jimmy Kimmel, and she got to meet uh, Barack Obama via Zoom. And she didn't realize she was meeting him, and tears and joy. I bought my mom a sweater, and she was not happy, Rel. Right. <laughs> so it's like, well, we're going to put your mom on the show. Tell her it's like a, an internet thing, right? And I go, hey, mom, this is an internet thing. You might get a free Barack Obama book that's coming out. You know, don't tell nobody, right? She said, oh, that's okay, I'll do that. I said, listen, Ma, you might get a free book. Don't tell nobody, <laughs> right? She couldn't wait to tell every fucking body. The second we got off the phone, she sent a text group of all my brothers and sisters, hey, I think Terrell will help me get on TV. And I'm in the text group. You know, <laughs> respectful, you gotta be <laughs> to text the person that told you not to text nobody in the thing. So, because I know my mother, I know she can't keep a secret. I didn't tell her she's going to meet Barack. So she does the video. She's on the Zoom just like this, like a bunch of people up there. And they're all talking. They're like the waiting room or whatever. And they didn't tell her that we're live on air. So she's watching, just like talking to other people. And next thing you know, she sees Jimmy Kimmel on her face. And then uh, she sees Barack and she flips the fuck out. She's crying. And this is a black mother. After it was over, she's mad at me for not telling her, because now she's like, <laughs> now the whole world thinks I sound stupid and can't talk to Barack Obama. So you can't, you can't win. You but can't it, win. Yeah, it was the best gift, and then it was like Christmas was, was a couple of weeks later. She's like, we getting Christmas. And I'm like, nothing. That's it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> like gifts for you are done at least at least five years. Like it's a wrap on everything, and that's the. That's where we stand right now. She's not talking to me. So that's where we are. <laughs> so she met Barack and now she's not talking to you. <laughs> she's over it. We just watched The Undoing together, which is good. That's cool. With uh, Nicole Kidman and um, Hugh Grant. It's about, yeah. cheating, about cheating on your wife. Fun theme. Um, whatever. Uh, uh, here's, here's a little tip for you, Jacqueline. Uh, this is why I proposed. To, uh, this is why I know I'm going to stay with my wife forever. We were watching Dexter together when Dexter was out and it was big 
And I think on one of the episodes, she turned to me just very cold blood and was like, I think I could I could kill somebody and hide the body. And I was like, you know what? I'm never leaving this woman. So <laughs> drop a creepy line like that on him once in a while. And he'll you know what? Forever. <laughs> I, I do. I do have to say that this whole pandemic has actually taught me how to be a better serial killer. You know, <laughs> like now I'm wearing I wear gloves, masks. I clean everything like I'm I, like, now I know how to do it. <laughs> I try not to watch nothing violent. My wife likes everything that's like murder, murder, murder. That's what and they I, do. I don't, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, because my insurance policy is very high. <laughs> and I don't like her, like, you know, getting ideas, you know. But it's all right. No, my mom took off. She was in Florida. And then she saw the way that people were behaving in Florida. Uh, like at the stores, they weren't wearing masks. Like everybody kind of was doing their own thing. And she was just like, I'm out of here, dude. And next thing I know, I got I got a phone call. And she she's very, she has my same vibe. She was like, yo, I'm on an airplane. I'll see you guys later. And I go, what? And she went back to Dominican Republic and she's out there like in the country. Like you got a, it's four wheel drive to get to her house up there. Yeah. It's a house that we are, that she has, it's all closed up. And she went, opened it back up, hired some people, opened up the water that comes down from the river plugged it in and the house has a power plant and solar plant. She, she, she's been living, she was ready for this moment her whole life. She was born into this, yo. <laughs> Sound like it. 100%, she has a, she has a generator uh, and then she has solar panels that are rigged up to like truck batteries. It's not even like legit, like Tesla batteries or nothing. She has like truck semi batteries and those batteries get charged. And right now she did some hustle. Now she has electricity all the time. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. What don't new yeah. fallout is your mother preparing herself for? Like what? I'm I'm yeah. jealous. My mom, my mom, like I'm. She she's in New York, and I worry about her. And the best she told me because I was like, Mom, you got mask up. You got to make sure you take it. And she was just like, Mijo, don't worry. I'm not eating the Chinese food anymore. I was like, <laughs> <"All right." laughs> That's <my> <laughs> And now I'm gonna yell at her. I'm like, Orlando's mom got a generator, and she got different <laughs> and tanks. <laughs> you need to step it up. We don't have tanks of water. We just have tanks of red pasta sauce around the house. That's what we're living <laughs> off of. Yeah. Hey, that's still good. <laughs> I I think we got into a little fight. I don't know about you guys, but I get really sketched out about like expired food. And when you go back to your parents' house, you find shit from like five years ago in the fridge, and you're like, "This isn't good." <laughs> And I just threw a bunch of stuff away at the fiance's house. And then yesterday I hear his mom in the kitchen, just in the fridge. Where's the cottage cheese? <laughs> Real quick. What are you guys looking forward to for 2021? Getting out. <laughs> what is this? It's like prison. I'm out. I went out. I went to be in parole. <laughs> 2021, man, just... Peace and prosper. I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid the civil war. I'm just. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to. I'm also uh, excited but nervous to send my kids back to school because I'm. Yeah. I'm scared. I'm um, day two. The teachers are gonna go. What did you do? Like this kid <laughs> knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a whole year dumb. It's gonna be. But the whole yeah. world, the whole world's gonna be a year dumb. So they're not missing much. This yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you guys for spending this this hour with us, this happy hour with us. We're gonna try to do this. Remember, more. no, hold on, Eric. And for legal advice, make sure you contact Le Leslie A for legal advice. <laughs> yeah, she's solving the case, the big case, Aaron Brockovich. I'll fix that. Hold it, Leslie. Uh, and and if you need to, and any spy advice, go to Polina. <laughs> again everybody's social is right there in the chat thank you guys for joining us uh we're gonna try to do this again next month so if you had fun tell a friend and uh yeah we'll see you guys next month you're the best eric thank you thanks eric happy new year to everybody thanks for the question emmanuel hey, 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 they ask how i'm doing